Hey guys, today we tie a sea bass fly and we tie it on a Kamakatsu EWG hook. It's an offset hook, so it's really good for uh, fishing above the bottom uh, without getting stuck. But um, what we need to do first is we need to bend our, our hook a little bit. You can do that with the pliers or you can do it which is not as good for your wires, but you can still do it with your wires. Get the tip in. Pull it a bit. Now you can see that we, we, we changed the shape of the hook by bending this up and this up a bit, quite a bit. And what happens now if the fish is coming, it really, if it even if it grabs onto the head of the fly, it will slide off and then still get hooked. Well, with a lot of hooks which you don't bend, it will grab it here and then just slide on top of the hook and doesn't get hooked. So if you bend them a bit, you definitely get uh, more hookups. Ah, uh, not hookups, but you don't lose that many fish. Um, what you can do if you're scared about um, the steel getting brittle while burning, you can use a lighter and heat it up and then let it cool down again. So the uh, metal letters will relax and the hook won't get uh, brittle or break. So when we start tying, um, we have these nice fly spinner blades. And we tie one here on the bottom. So I've got two hands to open this thing. Now I'm in. And before it closes again, I'll try to get the blade in there as well. So we got it in, finally. Only took me a minute or two. <laughs> so uh, I will forward that. But however, we are. Uh, Get our hook in, and you turn around, you have a flat piece here. Oh, maybe I'll turn it a little bit straighter for you. So you have kind of a flat piece here, and this is a nice piece where we want to let the uh, spinner blade then hang out. Uh, like that. So uh, we have the possibility when the fly drops that the spinner is rotating. Really cool thing. So, to attach the spinner, we just take some uh, pike wire, partridge pike wire, and uh, we take one of these uh, fluoro bower beads, the small ones, 3 mm, I think. Yeah, articulated beads, 3 mm chartreuse. We'll just slide it on like that. And now we grab our Gulf Minute Man, just get some glue on there and start the thread. Okay. Just secure everything. Just go around it once or two just to lift it a little bit from the uh, from the hook shank. So it doesn't fall into the hook, like that. I can cut that one off. And then you use a little bit of uh, this lead-free wire. I mean, you can use lead, but cool thing not to use that much lead. Well, uh, don't know what's in there actually, probably not that good either, but uh, definitely better than lead. Uh, we keep it in the middle because we don't want the fly jig, we want to descend it uh, evenly. And just secure it with a few wraps, it doesn't have to be much. And then 
we cut it off and just secure everything with a good amount of super glue. So that won't come loose. And then we take a little bit of the uh, gold ambulance and fluid green and just cover everything so we even have a little hot spot on the fly. Really like that. And we can dry it off. And now we just take our sonker. These are the um, Blackbird sunken strips from Flyting and Chatrui. A bit few flu active. Um, I really had way more success in fishing for sea bass with uh, UV active colors, especially with uh, Chatrui's and orange. And uh, yeah, just good color combination. And then you just measure something out like that. And if you cut it, just cut it in an angle like that. So your next piece is uh, just tapered already. In the front we still have to do that. You can also use a uh, opossum for it if you if you like to use it, uh, that material more. But uh, this one here works really well. Just place it on a hook, you see where your hook is supposed to go and then you just slide it onto there and then you can just later tie it on there. I'll just get it out of the way for a second. We get a little bit of super glue onto the uh, hook eye or onto the uh, small shanky bit um, just put our thread in there I'm using a uh, Vivas GSP thread 100 near as nearly always just tie it on top of the hook then your fly is actually kind of finished but if you want or you could fish it like that but uh, I like to pimp it a little bit I use uh, this Find Me Mirage Flash from Cyber just because uh, it suits really well to the color um, so you don't need to take much of it but I'll maybe like I'll let it be like 10 strands, maybe a bit more. And then just tape it slightly. And then just put it on top. Loose wrap so it really folds a little bit around it. And you can move them a little bit with your fingers around if you want to. And then just reverse the. Uh, the tips so the uh, flesh is really secured like that that's already more than enough just getting a little clamp now so the flesh is getting out of the way okay. yeah and uh, then you can you can leave it like that and fish it like that um, but I like to have the head a little bit nicer um, but what you shouldn't do is to make a naiad or a long hair dubbing head as um, the material especially in salt water gets a little bit messed up and if you have um, all this tangled up fibers up front there really can be a difference in uh, getting the fish hooked or not so um, if you have a too, too much strangled up fibers here they really prevent your uh, hook from being able to, to hook set a fish so um, I'll just take 
for this example feathers. I used to have these uh, Marc Petit Jean tools but they are not there so I will do it just by hand. But if you have a clamp here that would be really nice to just get the uh, get everything sorted out but uh, we have to figure a way out. So we just produce a, a loop just close it with a few wraps and uh, we get uh, our dubbing twister um, yeah, you can use just any dubbing twister every, one, every, every dubbing twister will work on feathers it doesn't really matter if you spin it fast or slow and um, I'll just try to do it by hand also don't have any wicks so just lay it in there like that just pull it a little bit apart and now it just I ripped it from the uh, from the feather so now cutting the edges which are still sticking together and then I just slide it all the way up so I don't get my head too bulky and then just keep the tension up always keep it just a little bit up and then you can just spin it so this is a uh, Chatrice Marabou strength also from Flyscene um, oh, really good quality for uh, what you pay for them and they're really really nice for uh, spinning so uh, just spin them a bit and take your your brush and just brush them out and they will have a nice play on the head and uh, they won't get uh, tangled up in your hook so uh, you won't lose the fish to, to it and now we just always with every turn just strike the uh, or stroke the uh, the uh, the hair so the feathers back and then just move it up there up the front Just catch our thread with the bobbin, pull it up and cut it so you don't uh, cut through your thread. And just give it a few more extra windings just to secure everything. And then just to make a few knots in it. You can moisten the feathers just to get them out of the way, that helps. Just lick your fingers and uh, subtract them back a bit. And we just cut that. And we secure the knot now with a little bit of super glue. Oop. Like that. And if you want, still have a little bit of these uh, gulf ambulance, flu green. You can just finish the head off by hiding your thread with some of this fluo green ambulance stuff. It's just super, super, super fluo reactive, just insane. You can see that. Also, the feathers are just, just a firework on the UV light. Um, and as I said before, seabirds really have a tendency to go for UV active flies. Um, when I use them, catch way more fish, especially in the colors of trees and orange. So now I'll try to get it out of here so you can see it better. It's a fly where I don't put eyes in. There's a glue eyes on here now. I will glue all my feathers together and I will also decrease the, the hooking point here and that I don't want. So there are no eyes on this fly, just a sunk fly. Marabou heckle and when it drops down we get this really nice action from uh, from the spinner blade so uh, enjoy time <laughs>